You do it so bad. I do it better than you. Today's video is gonna be something leofoint. You feel me? Ain't that right? Yeah. No, it's not. Today I bought a new shift knob from uh NRG. And it cost like 34 bucks, I think. Yeah, it should be 34 bucks. I'm gonna drop the link in the bio if you guys wanna, you know, purchase the exact same one I have. Babe, hold this. Give me. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's right here. It's a beautiful shift knob. I already opened it a little bit. You know, they represent it, you feel me? Hashtag get an RG. It's a carbon fiber shift knob. Wow, I think it's fake carbon, but it's weighted. It's pretty heavy. I can't really tell from me doing this. Oh. It's really nice, I really like it. Yeah. Fake carbon, but it's fake and nice carbon. Matches this. True. Look real nice in the car. Matches all the chrome. I mean, <laughs> that's the chrome. Head ass. I mean, uh, all the carbon fiber. So, yeah, that's, I'm sure you guys how to install it. All right, so to install my new shift knob, basically all all I need is uh, my screwdriver. My screwdriver. You need a screwdriver. Because the NRG gives you a little tiny screw. Little tiny screw. And they give you uh, these different sizes to screw on your uh, shift knob. Because everybody has different uh, threads. So, time to figure out which thread I use. So, basically, for knife gens, basically all you have to do is uh, unscrew it. It's going to be like. Once you figure out how to get this shit down, there you go. Uh, once you figure out how to get that down, this gonna, I don't know what size it is. I think this is a 10. You have to can use a 10 to hold this nut right here. And then you break, you, to break this, you push the ratchet or wrench or whatever the freak you wanna call it. You push it one way and you twist the shift knob the other way and it should break it off. And then you just spin it off like that. And you know, it falls. Probably sell this. Yeah, probably won't. And now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna check which one. I have a bad sniffle right now. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna check which one uh fits. Um, too loose. <laughs> too small? Just right. Just right. So, after you find out what size is your uh, your thread, you wanna put the thread that you found out the size thread thing is threaded for. You put that thing in there. I'm looking at you, said the camera. You put that thing in here, and then that thing gonna be fine, cause you know you put the screw in it, and then you screw it. All right. So basically, what you wanna do? You get the size that you found that fits. You put it inside here, you get your nut, your screw, whatever you want to call it. You stick it up there. You stick it out there, huh? And then you tighten it. So when you tighten it, it should not fall out anymore. Don't break it now. Yeah, so basically now, now you just screw it. You feel me? You got here, man. That's what money do. I'm gonna put that, that part in the video. That's what money do. <laughs> now you screw it. This is very tight. <laughs> That's what he said. Okay, 
not what money people do. <laughs> Installing it get yourself a nice way to shift now. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what that money do. That what that money do. That what it do. <laughs> Thanks for recording. Here. <laughs> All right, guys, that was it for the video. Just wanted to show you guys my new shift knob. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna put the link in the bio for where I got it. I got it from eBay. I did I get it from Amazon. Whatever, y'all find out when I put the link. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for another vid. Yeah!